الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my dear brothers and sisters I give my warm greetings to those who organized this event and the participants and especially that young girl mashallah she touched my heart and her parents I also give my warm welcome and uh, greetings to our brother Imam Salimi. And I remember when I came to this country, in, uh, it was early 2006, I have written an article in uh, the journal Ambition, after I have seen that most of the chefs were saying that uh, you can't take study loan, you can't have mortgage, you can't do this, you can't work at the factory because you will involve him to broke and you can't do anything, you cannot even drive a taxi because you may carry a passenger carrying a liquor or gaze or something like that. So I've seen the life was made restrictive. I've written an article about uh, a river, the definition of river, and then I had some oppositionists and I was advised to see Brother Salimi and as the first person that I can seek for, when I, if I'm seeking a religious consultation, he became the right person to approach. I appreciate And because, uh, because of the time, maybe I'll just uh, make um, uh, like one point of my uh, topic. So to continue from that, we know nowadays we get our water, from the tap, right? If we want to drink water, we drink from the tap, we cook water from the tap, shower everything from the tap, right? So, and luckily, Brother Salim is here with us. I want to ask him what tap means in Arabic. Imam. Yeah. Hanafiya. He said it's Hanafiya. So, I want to mention um, the Hanafiya or Sambur. Yeah, so Hanafiya or Sambur. The Hanafiya was the first name given to this tab when it was first introduced in uh, to Arab, Arab countries. Why? Because what happened when Hanafiya, this tab was first innovated, some, most of the ulama said this is haram. You can't use tab for ablution, for drinking, it's haram. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, had never used the tub, so this is haram. All, almost all the ulama said that. Maliki said that, Shafi'is and Hanbalis. So later on, some ulama of Hanafis came and they have proven that this is just like you are using a cattle. It's not a big deal. Then they said it is, this is the thing which Hanafis approved it and, and acceptable, permissible. That is why it got the name Hanafi, Hanafiya. So from there you can understand, from the very beginning there were always two groups of the Muslim scholars. Group that we can call them Haramis, that they make everything haram. Until now it is very close that they may say to get oxygen is haram, maybe to inhale or exhale is haram. That is the only thing left. So that group just say everything is haram, and another group says only what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made haram is haram, not everything. So then there they were two groups like that. Those who say this is, um, everything is haram, they became burden uh, to others. And they are burden upon every always. They are burden on um, others who are doing something good, and think and consider haram only what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala made haram. And what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala made haram are all countable numbers, very few, very simple. If you look at the Surah Al Isra, ayah number fifty, and the ayah before, you can see that the ten commandment, commandments, which Brother Imam, Imam Salim has just mentioned the Ten Commandments, which takes all about Muhammad um, and even worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you read that, uh, those ayahs with the last ten 
verses of Surah Al-Furqan, then you figure out what is haram and what is not when it comes to ibadah, the deities. But when it comes to um, deities, uh, what you eat, the eating, um, seven things are mentioned in the Quran, uh, which are uh, drinking only liquor or poison, only those are haram. But other things, in Surah Al-Baqarah, in Surah Al-An'am, you can read when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Hurrimat alaykum al maytata wa dhamma and so and so. And then, and with those verses when you read, and you read the other verse that in Surah Al-Nisa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us and seven marriages which are haram. That seven people whom you can't marry them as a man or a woman. And then at the end Allah says, وَأُحِلَّ لَكُمْ مَا وَرَاءَ ذَلِكُمْ And whatever after is after that is halal for you. So, and Allah says in another verse, وَقَدْ فَصَّلَ لَكُمْ مَا حَرَّمَ Allah has already given you the details of what is haram. Therefore, haram and halal are very clear in Islam, and they are not uh, leading you to come to a way that you become, uh, you avoid the attachment to this world. You make yourself isolated. You see everything is haram. But those who were saying only the haram is what is written and uh, is proved in Islam are the ones who made development. Islam, we are coming to the title of our, um, today our topic is Islam, eternal life. Islam is an eternal life that eternal life, some people may think it hereafter, the long life in the hereafter. But the meaning is that the eternal life from this world to hereafter. So here you have a life which is perfect, complete, and uh, something which makes you um, some, someone who is progressive. That eternal life, I only refer to the first in which um, those of you who were present here the day before yesterday in my Friday sermon, I referred to the ayah number 7 of Surah Al-Isra. Now I'm referring to ayah number 72 of Surah Al-Isra. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ كَانَ فِي هَذِي أَعْمَى فَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ أَعْمَى وَأَضَلُّ سَبِيلًا And so I'm just giving the prophetic meaning of this verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those who, or those who act blind in this world will be blind in hereafter and go even farther astray from the way. If you are someone who is productive and contributive in this world, you have a hope in hereafter. If you are someone who is loser in this world, you will be loser here and in hereafter. So that's the whole meaning. And Islam is that, uh, is that bound. Actually, uh, I'm sorry that I can't continue, but I just put the title there. Uh, may Allah bless us and make us those who follow Islam exactly as it is. Jazakumullah.